just old school fraud. What's going on with the banks? I'm hearing all types of crazy <laughs> shit. We all like, I hear these crazy reports. I read these reports that I forgot the exact percentage, but if a certain percentage of people right now were to pull out their money, banks are collapsed. So there's what, 200 banks that are apparently in danger. This is whatever. Is this? I hope this it ain't mine. Have you been paying? You've been paying attention. Yeah. A if bit, I like right? start looking too deep, I it, it you get like The whole fucking thing is really about to just fall, fall oh, apart. Yeah. But like, I'm like, okay. I, I knew it was I bad. Don't like it. I don't like it. I'm I, so scared. I knew it was bad when one of the heads of my bank sent me a message. Hey, I just want to send you a message. Everything is good here. We're well taken care of. You got nothing to worry about. Your money's in a You're safe like, oh place. Oh my god, let me get my money now. Go. <laughs> I called him right away and I told him, hey, bro, d do me a favor. Would you tell me if it wasn't good, though? Were, were right. You gonna, you're going to tell me that? He's like, no, no, of course I would. I'm like, no, you wouldn't, man. Would you, come take your money out now before we go broke. You're not going to tell me that, man. Maybe he would do it to you because you might fuck him up. I might fuck him up, <laughs> man. You know, but damn, it's, it's scary times we're living in, bro. I think it's, it's scary fun. because I think a lot of these banks, they're, they're I mean, it's, it's kind of funky. It's like if you just take all the money out, they're fucked. And if people panic and they take all the money out, and then those banks are fucked, and then we it might have just collapsed the economy right now. Me and you with this conversation. Well, if you let too many people know what's going on, it could collapse the economy. If you let too many people panic, if if someone decided, like some financial expert, not a moron like me, but someone who's like a legitimate financial Elon Musk expert, says, get your money out now. Oh my God! <laughs> if Elon Musk got on Twitter and said, "Get your money out now." You know, invest in gold, invest in Bitcoin, do something else. People would fucking panic. I mean, we're you're fighting at the FTX arena, which yeah. is wild. Yeah. Well, I mean, Miami Date Arena now. Now it yeah. is. Yeah. <laughs> it FTX, still says FTX on my contract. FTX Arena, bro. That's, <laughs> that's a fucking awesome one. And they then how many billions arena. of dollars did they give to millions, not billions, did they give to Democratic Party? The number two, number two donor to the Democratic Party. That's it was not like money laundering. It seems a little bit like money laundering. It's like a legal version of money laundering. That's not money laundering. Yeah, I mean, listen, man. He like, thought that that was the way he was going to avoid going to jail and avoid scrutiny. Just paid all these shuffling top out politicians. that money. He wanted to donate a billion dollars next year. He wanted to continue donating money, and he was donating money from the people that it put the money into that exchange. He was taking other people's money and donating it. What's going on with him now? Is he facing like he's twenty life sentences? Yeah. Yeah. They're gonna make an example of that dude. He's well, the the CEO who looked at it uh, again. I'm not. A, I don't understand it. So I have to just go off what I've read. And what I've read is the CEO went over it and he said, "This is just old school fraud. This is nothing but fraud. This is fraud under a new type of money under crypto." But he goes, "But this is just straight fraud." And, you know, he untangled all of it. The CEO has been untangling all the books. You know, they used QuickBooks to do their taxes. QuickBooks. Nice. Like what? some shit that, like, a guy who all runs right. a corner store would use. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> he's right. a billion-dollar exchange. guys are saving some pennies there, huh? <laughs> it's fucking... I mean, they were all on amphetamines, and they were all fucking each other in that <laughs> house. Part of me is kind of rooting for them. I mean, if they weren't doing fraud, I mean, you got all these nerds that are just, there's nine of them living in a house and they're all just having orgies and fucking each other on speed. They're all taking speed <laughs> and ecstasy and banging each other. And they don't even look oh good. God, no, no one's even hot. Oh my God. They're just bro. closing their eyes and watching video games and fucking each other. I mean, it's crazy. Just bought some fucking island in the Bahamas and went to town on each other. Bought a giant ass penthouse, a $40 million penthouse at the top of this building. They got to the make a amazing movie on these view. guys. They got to oh, make a yeah. movie on these guys. They fuckers, should. Bro. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, it should be a real, a good one, like an Oliver Stone movie where they, they really go deep into what was actually going on and just show yeah. the, the grittiness of it. And all the people that are killing themselves because they lost all their money. And that's what people don't talk about. It's like people commit suicide all the time when these things happen. Yeah. You've got a billion dollars locked up in crypto and now all of a sudden you're broke. Broke as fuck. Oh. And no way to get that money back. It's impossible. It's gone forever. It didn't exist in the first place. It was all a Ponzi scheme and now you're insolvent. It makes you really like rethink everything because, you know, I might know a little bit of my money, but. 
what do I know compared to a, like a fucking billionaire? You know, right. somebody that's made his money. I made my money off fighting, not like because right. I'm the greatest businessman. You got these great businessmen to give you a fucking billion dollars. What the fuck's going on here? Bro? I know that's what's wild. What, what it was type people dream that were you knew selling? money? They understood money. They understood the whole thing, and they they dumped shitloads of money into that exchange. Well, well, maybe if you dumped a bunch of money, they let you come to the orgy fentanyl parties or something. Bro. <laughs> Must have been right. Like you sign here. Listen, guaranteeing you three orgy fentanyl parties a month. <laughs> You're sad. I don't think anybody wanted to go to those parties. There's a bunch of doughy-looking nerds banging each other. <laughs> I mean, it's just, the whole thing is crazy. It's it's It doesn't even seem real. Like The fact that everyone knew that they were having these orgies, everyone, I mean, that girl, Caroline Ellison, she was talking on Twitter. Is that Twitter. the one with the glasses? Yeah. Yeah, she was the one he was banging, which is hilarious. Yeah, you ever mean, see Tim Dillon's take on that? You no, know who no, Tim no. Dillon is? Yeah, 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 Tim Dillon's hilarious. He, I, <laughs> he did this. Whole I didn't see his take on it, but I know who Tim. See, is. see you find it. It's so fucking Tim Dillon on on Caroline Ellison and Sam Bankman Freed. He did this fucking <laughs> about what kind of money? Like, what, let's see what kind of pussy you know ten billion dollars gets you. Like, I, I want to know. I want to see what it gets you. You know, it's like. <laughs> These fucking I, I've seen that shit. It's like you, you got to pay most of us some serious cash to like, you know. Yeah, just to do it. Yeah, yeah but meanwhile, they're billionaires. And the, 